first off first of all okay hold on um turn youtube off in the background i turned it off for you do you have a disagreement i do um, you, you guys, when you say you called from last night, I don't necessarily know, remember who you are. So what's the disagreement? Okay. Um, so I watched a few of your videos. A coworker told me about you. Okay. And, I'm, and I'm kind of agreeing with Monique on some things. Um, when you talk about the weight and the body type of women. Um, so I did a little research um, looking at BMIs and things like that. And I noticed you weren't factoring body fat percentage and things like that ma'am um, let's 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 be let's let's be honest ma'am <laughs> mm -hmm. this is a broadcast i don't have to get that that gun specific generalities are just fine mm -hmm. well for me i asked because <laughs> you told me that i was overweight which according to the <clears throat> who yeah, are you how tall are you first of all how tall my are you? Body fat percentage. How tall? Okay. Jesus, you ladies, act like you can't hear. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just in the middle of a sentence. Well, guess what, ma'am? This is the show. Okay. I know who you are. You're a communications chick. It is. How look, rude. Look, <laughs> look, lady, you got problems because mm -hmm. you're not going to, we're not going to do what happened yesterday. So either you're mm -hmm. going to get on board with the way this is, I'm going to bid you a good night because apparently you don't like to, you think you are somebody that I need to contend with and I don't. You either have a, a civil conversation or go elsewhere. Those are your only options. I'm very civil, but I'm open to either. And communicate, that was my first degree. I got a degree in master's in professional development. But, um, yeah, um, I kind of looked and I realized that you were fatter than me because my body fat percentage is pretty low. Um, and I work out six times a week, things like that. And I, you know, the guys I prefer are pretty fit as well. So a good 220, but I wouldn't consider them overweight. You done? I am. Good, because you didn't answer the first question I asked. You just talked. Mm -hmm. Show me where you can, where the world operates according to your standard. So that's what I was wanted to ask you about. But it's like you're asking me questions that has nothing to do with my question. Because I just wanted to understand your viewpoint. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay ma'am. Again, mm -hmm. I let you talk. And I asked you one question and you just blew right on past it. Communications mm -hmm. degree holder. Why is it so hard for you to answer a question? I don't know why. Because you have no respect for what's going on. You're just here to talk. Because you're not answering my question. My height has nothing to do with my question that I'm I asking. I didn't ask. You. See, the thing is, I again, how tall are you? Five, five. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 165. Last night you were 175. Yep, and I weighed myself this morning because I've been on a diet. And like I said, I work out six days a week. I also fast twice a week. So I'm very health conscious. Congratulations, so ma'am. Yeah. Congratulations. And still, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how many days a week you work out or what's specific mm -hmm. to you. See, a, a, a weight standard is just that, a standard. You cannot have something that fits 7 billion people. Mm -hmm. You're a college graduate. You're supposed to understand these things. I don't think you're understanding my question. So can I ask you another question to clarify? You haven't asked me any questions, really. You just I told me why I'm me. wrong and I could care. Okay. And why, cause, cause the guys you like are taller and this and that, that's your preference. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But it still doesn't so, change the fact that it still doesn't change the fact that mm -hmm. you at your height, you weigh more than the average man. Mm -hmm. And so for me, uh -huh. I'm just like, uh -huh. I'm curious. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. At Do your height, question? at your height, you weigh uh -huh. more than a man at your height. Understand. Okay. So I'm just curious. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ye
that's fine. Uh, my question is, why do women um, go to Dr. Miami and to get BBLs to look like me? I don't have an ounce of cellulite or stretch marks. That's why I don't really want. Again, ma'am. Again, you're asking. You're like asking. That. You're asking me. Asking so me why? Wondering. Okay, stop. You want to answer to the question? <laughs> Mm-hmm. How can I know why they do? How can I know why somebody that goes to Doctor Miami does what they do? But we're talking about you. No, you, about I, you asked me. You asked. You asked me a question. Why do uh -huh. women go to Doctor Miami to get bodies to look like you? I can't mm -hmm. know why they do that, but I will tell you that a twenty-five inch waist. And I actually had uh, people from the medical profession call in talking about women who do. Do you happen to use a waist trainer? I actually just started using one uh, uh -huh. last week because I'm going to go right, to 24. Right. And so you have a 25 inch waist naturally. Yes. Okay. Uh, at 170 yeah, pounds and 175 pounds. pounds. All right. So again, you have, again, you're the same person that talked about the kind of men you like to date, the kind of men you like to date, all this thing about how hot you are. But then in another breath, you said you ain't dated it, had a, a relationship in eight years. Which one is true? Both. Okay. Um, Okay, well then, if you're so, if you're in such high de okay if you're in such high demand, mm -hmm. why does it matter what a guy on YouTube has to say? Um, like I said, my coworker told me about you, and we literally like I enjoy your show. I don't agree with most of the things you say, especially about um, women and value them now. Um, with my Christian beliefs, I think we're all in some ways equal. However, me and my coworker. Whoa, 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 whoa! Now, now you've crossed. Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. you you've crossed into some dangerous territory. I'm gonna allow you to back <laughs> that one up because okay, you want to bring Christianity into it. I was baptized I, I, at five, and you can no, 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 no. See, God doesn't play these subjective games you want to play. Mm -hmm. So, as far as Christianity, you are way outside the mark of how a Christian woman should be moving. Mm, we can talk about that because there's that's no discuss. That. There's nothing to talk. There is nothing to talk about in this regard. So you asked me about two different things. One was the eight year thing, um, which we didn't go into details about why that was what I decided. But to clarify, I have not, um, you talked earlier about people not wanting to commit. That's me and that's by choice. I don't, I have not wanted to commit because I enjoy my space. I don't Good. enjoy someone Good. telling me what to do and when. Good. So that's by choice. Good. And um, congratulate. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. This is a conversation, not a uh -huh. monologue. You, you enjoy your space, good. And and you also think that you can just decide to turn the switch and get married. I You know, that resonated with me. That's the one thing that resonated. I did. It resonated yeah. with you? No, what you're saying. I, I it, agree. It with you. I want to make sure what I just heard what you say. It resonated with you? Mm -hmm. What you said resonated it, with me. Okay, you said resignated. Resonated. I think mm -hmm. you understand what I was saying. I do, but you're the communications person. Okay, I'm not working right now, so. But well, it still shouldn't matter. You should still understand the words you're using. Mm, okay, I understand See, what I'm saying. Ultimately, ma'am, ultimately, ma'am, you want to go back and forth to argue. Did you have something else you want to say? Because you can watch the show, you can enjoy, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you are unfit for a real relationship. You may have a great body, and lots of guys may want to have sex with you, but I don't think many guys can stand to be in a room with you longer than than after the sex is over. You're a difficult, a difficult woman to talk to. You're all over the place and you have to be right. Congratulations. You may look great, but what happens when that 25 inch waist and that ass drops at 50 or 60? Not going to. Great. Good luck with that. I'll be good. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Why did I do that? When conversations start being rooted in reality, this woman, she has issues. Go back and listen to the last segment yesterday. <laughs>